Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to make chicken quesadillas in a slow cooker. We're going to make this today. Let's get started. So we're going to need uh, a half a chunk of cilantro. Dice it up pretty good. Looks like that. We're going to need two tomatoes. Dice it up. One whole white onion. One lime juice squeezed, two garlic cloves, and one package of uh, chicken breast. Cut into uh, one inch cubes, dump it in the uh, crock pot, set the crock pot on high, add the uh, tomatoes, like, just like that. Add the uh, white onions, and then in the slow cooker, we're gonna cook this for about, I think, uh, probably four hours. Add the cilantro in, Looks amazing. And add a, uh, a quarter cup of water, um, or less. Just kind of gauge it with your eye as you're, you know, as you're cooking. Uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. And uh, what's next? Uh, oh, two tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of uh, smoked paprika. And uh, about two tablespoons of uh, chicken bouillon cube. Add in that garlic we uh, cut before. And this right here is about four teaspoons of uh, just basically a uh, taco burrito sneeze seasoning. Good spot at Walmart. And a tablespoon of garlic powder. Add in that lime juice we squeezed earlier. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna we're gonna mix this all up, mix all the flavors together. Um, in the crock pot, usually it's gonna take about three to four hours on high. So basically, for that chicken to soak up all these spices, but also it makes the chicken very soft and uh, it'll, it'll break up the chicken, kind of like you know shredded chicken. So see how we just mix everything up evenly. It's pretty good, and this way it's it's pretty easy easy clean up, and we can just put it in the crock pot, and we can just walk away. And uh, in about four hours, it's gonna basically it's gonna look pretty amazing. It's gonna look like uh like this right here. Look at that. Ooh, that's awesome, man. That's hot. So, anyways, we're gonna you know stir all this up. You see how tender that chicken is? It looks amazing. And uh, when you make a quesadilla, it's just just pull the chicken out, not the juice, obviously, but uh, let's get started and make some quesadillas. So what I like to do is you can add a little um, butter to the pan. And the pan's on hot, so, you know, just don't burn yourself like I did earlier. So just mix up the butter on the pan, get the uh, tortilla, put it on the pan. And once the tortilla starts getting a little warm and uh, crispy, just a little bit, and we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna add our ingredients in. We're gonna add the, uh, the chicken that we cooked uh, in the crock pot. Well, my bad. Okay, we're gonna add the cheese first. Okay, so add the cheese. There we go. And this is cheddar cheese. And uh, just a fairly good amount. And now we're gonna add the chicken. There we go. So we're adding the chicken. And it's kind of hot. It's kind of burning my hands right now. I should just make sure you let the chicken cool down before you put it on, you know, in case of deal. Now just, just mix it so you know it's kind of even, you know, chicken all throughout the quesadilla. And next I'm gonna add some pico de gallo I made, which is basically just tomato, cilantro, onion, and lime juice. I have a video on that if you like to see how to make pico de gallo. So add more cheese. You know, if you like it extra cheesy, just add more cheese, you know, too easy, right? And then we're just gonna fold the quesadilla like this. And uh, I'm pushing on pretty hard to make sure we, uh, we push out any excess uh, water or juice. And just keep pushing down so you, both sides are nice and hot. You get the cheese nice and melted so it kind of sticks together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it one more time to make sure that the cheese is melted thoroughly throughout the quesadilla. That looks, that looks amazing, doesn't it? Doesn't it? And remember, if it doesn't look like this, you made it wrong. So watch the video again. I'm just joking. So anyways, 
I like to cut my quesadillas into, uh, what is that, six pieces? Yeah, six slices, you know, so you can kind of dip it. But, so that's it, it's pretty simple. You know, I'm add some uh, guacamole, sour cream, and a uh, pico de gallo to dip it in. But uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day. And I'm so hungry, you know. Goodbye, have a great night.